hi student students you have learned about angles how to name the angles and how to find its vertex and its arms okay now we will learn about how to measure an angle using the protractor okay so see student now here i have shown a protractor see student this is the protractor so look at the protractor a protractor has shape like the english alphabet d if you observe its shape is like a english alphabet d the curve side of the protractor is marked from 0 to 180 degree see student here this is the curved part and that curved side of the protractor is marked from 0 to 180 okay it has two scales outer and inner outer scales start at zero degree from left see this is the outer scale okay here i have shown so which is outside that is the outer scale and outer scale start at zero degree from the left and inner zero degree from the right means from inner scale it start from right to left and from outer you start from left to right okay the straight side has a midpoint mark clearly this is the midpoint okay which is marked clearly in this way here we have to use this protector for measure and angle now let's learn to measure an angle using the protector so see student here now we will learn how to measure an angle using the protector so step first to measure the given angle a o b see student here we have to measure the angle a o b so for that we have to place the midpoint of the protector over the vertex O. This is the midpoint and we have to keep O is the vertex of an angle. So we have to keep that vertex where midpoint of the protector over the vertex O of the angle. Then second step the straight line parallel to straight side of protector is placed over one arm OA so that is the straight side so we have to place it is over one arm OA of an angle AOB such that its midpoint is over the vertex O see its midpoint over the vertex O see student the straight line this is the straight line of parallel to the straight side of protector is placed over one arm OA of angle AOB such that its midpoint is over the vertex O of the angle. Now the angle is read on the protector counting from 0 degree from the right see 0 degree from the right till you reach other arm AB so if you observe this arm OB it is placed where on the 60 degree okay so we say that angle AOB is 60 degree so understood how to measure an angle using the protector okay now here we learn about how to measure an angle using the protector 
Now we will learn drawing an angle using the protector. See here we have taken one example. Draw an angle of 75 degree using the protector. Just now you have learned how to measure an angle using a protector. Okay, so for that we go through a step. Okay, so see student, draw an angle of 75 degree using the protector. For that first we have to draw a ray OA. See, we have drawn here. We have to draw ray OA. Okay, next place the protector on AOA. See student, here we place the protector on OA such that its midpoint O, its midpoint O and the ray OA coincide with the zero mark as shown in the figure. If you observe this arm OA, it is coincide with the zero degree mark as shown in the figure. Okay, next mark a point B where near the edge at 75 degree from the inner scale. So inner scale this 0, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 and after 75 small divisions 75 degree. So we have to point mark point B near the edge at 75 degree from the inner scale. If you observe here V point mark B. Okay. Now remove the protector and draw the ray OB. Okay. Using a ruler. So here by removing protector we have drawn this angle. Okay. In this way here we get angle AOB is the required angle of 75 degree. So understood student how to draw an angle using the protector. Okay. So now we have learned how to measure an angle using the protector as well as how to drawing an angle using the protector. Now next part we will see classification of an angle. Angles are classified according to their measures. Means if you observe angles these are not all same. Okay. These are the different. So these are classified according to their measures. So first we will see acute angle. First type is acute angle. An angle which measures between 0 degree and 90 degree is called an acute angle. Means acute angle measurement is greater than 0 degree and less than 90 degree. See acute angle measurement is greater than 0 degree and less than 90 degree. So between that. The measurement of angle is acute angle means 1, 2, 3, 4, dash, 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 dash till 89 degree. These all angles are acute angle. Okay. Next type is right angle. An angle which measures 90 degree is called right angle. See angle whose exact measurement is 90 degree is called right angle. Next type is obtuse angle. An angle which measures more than 90 degree but less than 180 degree is called an obtuse angle. See an angle which measures more than 90 degree but less than 180 degree means obtuse angle measurement is greater than 90 degree and 
less than 180 degree means 91 92 dash 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 till 179 degree so obtuse angle measurement is greater than 90 degree and less than 180 degree those angles are called obtuse angle and next type is straight angles an angle which measures 180 degree means exact 180 degree whose measurement is exact 180 degree that angle is called straight angle once time see again student according to their measurement angles are classified here into four types first is acute angle an angle which measures between 0 degree and 90 degree is called an acute angle second type is right angle an angle which measures 90 degree is called right angle third type is obtuse angle an angle which measures more than 90 degree but less than 180 degree is called an obtuse angle and last one is straight angle an angle which measures 180 degree is called a straight angle okay now we will see next part drawing angles using set square see student here i have shown in this figure two set square in your compass box if you observe you will see these two types of set square okay first is 30 60 and 90 degree okay first one is 30 60 and 90 degree and second set square is 45 45 and 90 degree okay see student in your compass box we have two set square first one is 30 60 and 90 degree and second one is 45 45 and 90 degree now with the help of this set square we can draw various angles such as 30 degree 45 degree 60 degree 75 degree 90 degree and 105 degree okay suppose you have to draw an angle of 30 degree then what you have to do you have to keep this set square and by putting this set square you have to draw this straight line and this you will get 30 degree angle now suppose you have to draw an angle of 90 degree then draw a straight line and this line you will get the angle of 90 degree suppose you have to draw an angle 45 degree then draw here straight line and draw this line you get 45 degree angle in this way with the help of it we can draw 30 degree angle 60 degree angle 90 degree as well as 45 degree angles okay by using this set square as well as we can draw angle 75 degree and 105 degree so those angles by using set square here it is shown so see here first angle of 75 degree so to draw angle of 75 degree using set square here you need a 30 60 90 degree set square as well as 45 45 90 degree so you have to do arrangement of this set square here shown okay so here this corner is of 45 degree and 30 60 90 degrees 30 so both these corner we have to join with each other 30 plus 45 70 5 okay in this way we get 75 degree then first we have to draw this line and along this edge of the set square we have to draw this line okay and by removing this set square here we get an angle of 75 degree see student first you have to keep 
45 45 90 degree set square and 30 60 90 set square as shown here then you have to draw a straight line edge shown here and here this line you have to draw at the edge of this and then by removing this set square here we get angle 70 degree these are we are getting two arms and we get this angle 75 degree and you can give the name of this angle in this way here we get angle a b c is equal to 75 degree okay next we have to draw an angle 105 degree by using set square for that you have to arrange set square here as shown in this way means you have to arrange 45 45 90 degree set square and 30 60 90 degree set square as shown here next step you have to draw first ray at the edge of this 45 45 90 degree and another ray you have to draw along the edge of this 60 90 okay then by removing this set square 60 plus 45 105 so here we get this angle 105 degree angle and you get x y z so angle x y z is 105 degree see student how we draw here we get here angle 105 degree x y and z in this way here we have learned how to draw an angle 30 degree 45 degree 60 degree 75 degree 90 degree and 105 degree okay now we will solve exercise 3 so let's we solve first question measure the following angles using a protector so you have learned how to measure a given angle using a protector so first step we have to measure angle x y z so for that to measure the given angle x y z place the midpoint of the protector over the vertex y okay of the angle the straight line parallel to straight side of protector is placed over one arm y x of the angle x y z such that its midpoint is over the vertex y of the angle now the angle is read on the protector counting from zero degree from the right till you reach other arm y z okay so we if you see that another arm y z is on 45 mark okay 45 degree mark so angle x y z is 45 degree understood student how to measure an angle using the protector next we have to measure 
an angle PQR. So for that to measure the given angle PQR place the midpoint of the protector over the vertex Q of the angle. The straight line parallel to straight side of protector is placed over one arm of QP of an angle AOB such that its midpoint is over the vertex Q. Now the angle is read on the protector counting from 0 degree from the right till you reach other arm QR. Okay, so measurement of angle PQR is 70 degree. Next, we have to measure an angle ABC. Okay, so for that to measure the given angle ABC, place the midpoint of the protector over the vertex B of the angle, the straight line parallel to the straight side of protector is placed over the one arm B A of the angle A B C such that its midpoint over the vertex B of the angle. Now the angle is read on the protector counting from 0 from the right till you reach other arm B C. So if you observe our BC arm is at 80 degree from the inner scale. So angle ABC is 80 degree. Okay. Next is we have to measure an angle of MON. So to measure the given angle MON place the midpoint of the protector over the vertex O okay of the angle the straight line parallel to straight side of the protector is placed over one arm OM of the angle MON such that its midpoint over the vertex O of the angle now the angle is read on the protector counting from 0 degree from the right till you reach other arm o n okay if you observe observe other arm o n is at 30 degree from the inner scale so measurement of an angle m o n is 30 degree in this way student here by using protector we measure the given angle now Second question is draw the following angles using the protector. So student you have learned how to draw an angle using the protector. So for that you have to draw array BC. So here we have drawn array BC. Then place the protector on BC such that its midpoint B and the ray OC coincide with the zero mark as shown in the figure. Mark a point A near the edge at 35 degree from the inner scale. Then remove the protector and draw ray OBA. So you get angle A O B 35 degree okay next we have to draw angle using protector 60 degree okay so for that C student here First, we have to draw a ray QR. Okay. Then, place the protector on QR such that its midpoint is at Q and the ray QR 
coincide with the zero mark as shown in figure. Then mark a point P near the edge at 60 degree. See student, 60 degree from the inner scale. Now remove the protector and draw the ray QP using a ruler. In this way we get angle P Q R 60 degree. Okay. Next we have to draw an angle X Y Z 83 degree. So for that first we have to draw a ray Y Z. Okay. Then place the protector on Y Z such that its midpoint Y and the ray YZ coincide with the zero mark as shown in the figure. Then mark a point X near the edge at 83 degree from the inner scale. Now remove the protector and draw the ray YX using a ruler. So we get an angle XYZ 83 degree. Okay. Next we have to draw an angle PQR 90 degree. So for that we have to draw a ray QR. Then place the protector on QR such that its midpoint Q and the ray QP. Sorry student. We have to draw. We have to draw a ray QP. See student, we have to draw a ray QP and then place the protector on QP such that its midpoint Q and the ray QP coincide with the zero mark as shown in the figure. Then mark a point R near the edge at 90 degree from the inner scale. Now remove the protector and draw the ray QR using a ruler and by removing protector we draw here we get here angle PQR of 90 degree okay next angle we have to draw here MON of 110 degree so for that we have to draw a O M. Okay, then place the protector on O M such that its midpoint O and array O M coincide with the zero mark as shown in the figure. Then mark point N near the edge at 110 degree from the inner scale. Then remove the protector and draw the ray O N. Okay. So here we get an angle M O N E 110 degree. In this way by using protector we draw here angles of given measurement. Now next question is identify the angles as acute, obtuse, straight or right using their measures. So student you have learned angles are classified according to their measures okay so see first measurement is 117 degree so 117 degree is more than 90 degree but less than 100 degree 180 degree so we have learned an angle angle an angle which measures more than 90 degree but less than 180 degree is called obtuse angle so 117 degree is an obtuse angle second measurement is 28 degree it is less than 90 degree but it is greater than 0 degree so we have learned an angle which measures between 0 degree and 90 degree is called an acute angle so 28 degree is an acute angle next is 150 degree it is more than 90 degree but less than 180 degree so 
an angle which measures more than 90 degree but less than 180 degree is called an obtuse angle so 150 degree is obtuse angle next 90 degree okay so an angle which measures 90 degree is called right angle so 90 degree is right angle and last one is 110 degree which is more than 90 degree but less than 180 degree so an angle which measures more than 90 degree but less than 180 degree is called obtuse angle so 110 degree is obtuse angle in this way here we classified angles according to their measures now last question is draw an angle 75 degree using set square so for that students here we need two set square 30 60 90 degree and 45 45 90 degree then we have to arrange given set square here as shown means we know that 30 plus 45 is 75 degree so we have to arrange these two set square as shown here next we have to draw here a straight line parallel to straight side of this set square okay over one arm of o a okay of the angle a o b then second arm okay then second arm ob we have to draw at the edge of 30 60 90 degree then remove the set square and draw the ray oa and ob so by removing the set square we get an angle 75 degree as shown here we get here angle a o b of 75 degree okay so in this way student we have solved all examples given in exercise 3